So right now I've got Derek Huff on the line. Hi, Derek. How are you doing? Good. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you doing? Doing great. Are you shooting a movie right now in Canada? Getting ready for it. I start filming on May 9th. So we're just kind of doing a lot of pre-production right now. Thanks for taking a break and talking to us today. We're very excited about Women's Night Out and having you as our as our celebrity guest this year. Thank you for coming to East Texas. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. It's all about the women. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Now, I understand that you're from the beautiful city of Salt Lake City. It's gorgeous there. Yeah, yeah. I was originally from uh, Salt Lake City, but then I lived in um, London, England for 10 years. So you went to study dance with uh, Corky and uh, Shirley Ballas, right? Yeah, yeah. I was just supposed to be for a couple of days, and then I <laughs> then it turned into, um, you know, a lot longer, obviously. I just really enjoyed it. It was really a fantastic environment to be creative and to learn and to do, you know, do some, uh, do some great things. So I can imagine. I'm a big Broadway uh, show fan, and I, I, I saw where you uh, did some stuff in London. Footloose? You were, you played Rin yeah. in Footloose? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. We did Footloose there as the original cast and got some really great reviews and things. And it was a, an amazing experience to do eight shows a week with such a difficult role, dancing and singing and acting. It was, it was pretty full on, but I learned a lot in that experience. And, uh, you know, it's definitely helped me become better at what I do. So it was, it was, it was wonderful. That's pretty awesome. I can imagine. I always wanted to uh, go to Broadway. I was just there in March seeing some great shows. But now you got to make your actual Broadway debut, didn't you, in January of this year? Oh, yeah. I, well, I, did a, I just did like a, um, a little, I closed out a show just for, for a week um, on Broadway. And, uh, but it was, it was really a lot of fun. It did really well and had a lot of people there and was sold out. And it was a lot of fun. It was a really, really great experience. So, Derek, you're a professional ballroom dancer. You've done Broadway in London and in New York, and now you're in film work. And, of course, you have that band with Mark Ballas, where I understand that you write music. With everything that's going on, do you still find time to write music? I've actually written a song for this film. I did, did a score for it and everything. So it was, uh, so still doing music, but just in a different, uh, different area. So tell us the name of the film. Uh, the, the film is called Kobu. Okay. And it's going to be in 3D, which is going to be kind of exciting. Uh, and Kobu basically means um, dance like drumming, drum like dancing. And uh, it's, it's a dance film, but it's not completely a dance film where it's just, you know, dancing, dancing, a little bit of story dancing. We're, we're trying to make it a lot more kind of uh, story, story based. And, and uh, it's got a really cool fusion of, you know, sort of this Asian culture mixed with, you know, this kid from New Orleans who's kind of a you know, street performer. When is it slated to open? Um, probably not until next year. Yeah. Um, or either middle of next year or end of next year. We'll get ready for it. Hey, uh, you've got a birthday coming up soon, huh? Next month. Happy I birthday. Do. Next month. It's crazy. <laughs> they keep coming, don't they? <laughs> they do. I, I can't believe it. Actually, I really can't believe it. It's insane. It's already been a year. Well, we look forward to it. You've got a long flight, I assume, to get here tomorrow. Yeah. I guess I do. Dang it. I, I didn't realize. I was like, shoot, that's that's a pretty long way to go, isn't it? <laughs> it will be so worth it. We have so many women that are just chomping at the bit to meet you, and we're very excited to have you, Derek. Very much so. Oh, wonderful. Well, I look forward to it.